Hello lovelies, Rodin Jack Fox here. Um I'm gonna continue this series, but also I would say I'm also gonna continue my what if Deku was Omega Sans. And for pointers on that what if remember when I said this arm with all these tattoos? <coughs> I said that they are also scars. Yeah, back then also people did tattoos, quote unquote, because it was just art on their body. The same thing as people did now these days. So, whatever thing happened to Deku, like all scars or like any pictures or anything on his body from back then. And I'm gonna explain it more on the, that what if. But today we're gonna continue with what if Deku was a fun time animatronic. So, where I left off is where people. Principal Nezu held up a meeting for all the teachers, telling Toshinori to keep an eye out and if he smells anything of rotten flesh, called them immediately for they could check out the perimeter for nothing the animatronics could be located. And because they don't know if these animatronics are friendly, they have to keep a very good sense of eye, a very sharp eye on everything. And... So they actually have to look around if they smell like a scent of rotten flesh, follow the scent wherever it goes, and if students are asking about that smell, they are they have to either lie about the smell or eventually have to tell them the truth. Either or the teachers have to tell them the truth eventually. And someone did say let's split them up for uh, for better, quote unquote. Hold on, I'm actually gonna go look up. At. Okay, so, uh, I do not want to like butcher the name or anything. I don't want to say incorrect and make the person feel bad. Um, so I'm gonna show the picture on the screen right now. This person asks if the teachers found the body of Deku and Elizabeth inside the suits, and which I said no, they did not find the bodies. And this person also said, um, hold on. Since I did say in the last part, these are two separate people, they asked if they could be separated. And another person asked for kind of the exact same thing, just a bit opposite. Um, basically asking to keep Deku and his sister together. Hold on, I actually would like to find where it is. But also asking if they could be like a type of guard for the UA students as well. Since Deku is the more stronger one out of the two, he would be more in, of in charge. But let's go back to the what if. So Deku and his sister are literally in where everyone is okay in class 1A, but without their suits. And they're literally sleeping right now. So they, so a bunch of people, let's go to class 1A students. In this case, Mineta is expelled when the test is resulted, but the person who took Deku's spot was close to being expelled. And so let's just say that person has a sound manipulation. No, technically that's Jero. Okay, so basically Deku and his, let's go to where everything else is in. Everything will be the exact same with the teams except for one, Deku and Ochako. It's gonna be with that person. And in that building, they have like a very, that building has a strong smell of rotten flesh. So people are asked, the school's students are asking why is there a sense of smell the smell of rotten flesh the teachers do have to lie about that when they ask all my class when I he did say we have to keep that um, it's just bad cooking I think someone might have broken into UA and just cooked here with you here with run like something rotten and Momo said, that's not accurate, sir, all night. And Momo does catch his, like, lies quickly because of the case with Mr. Aizawa in the canon anime where she did say after the training sun that it was technically a lie to make us work better. That's 
her words with my speaking. So she does ask again, where is that smell coming from? Until All Might's basically um, cracked under the pressure of these students continuing asking. As he did say this, that there are two um, robotic creatures, quote unquote, because they were mainly used for a restaurant oops, that slowly shut down because of a fire and we we're looking for them because they went missing. As the students are a bit scared and All Might did say, we don't know if these animatronics are friend or foe. But the thing is, from the two students from the support course, well not student, a student from the support course as well as a, f a friend of my daughter did say that their suits have been removed and the, ins the endoskeleton is very, very terrifying. So if you see something robotic moving around or with a strong sense of or if you smell like a very strong whiff of rotten flesh, please contact, please tell me for I can contact the school and we could get the animatronics out. As Todoroki and all the students start taking a whiff of the air and they smell like a very, very disgusting and strong sense, sense of, scent of rotten flesh, mainly two types. Since Deku's sister has been locked up in his back in Deku's back for she could be protected, the rotten flesh in her suit, which is Elizabeth's, um, is not that much burned, so it does have like a new rotten flesh smell. But for Deku, since his suit was technically burned, he has like a type of old scent old smell and at the beginning of this uh, i did say the spirits do age over time so deku and his sister did age so deku is 16 in the anime which he is 16 his spirit while his sister is 14 years old or 15 14 to 15 years old so deku and his sister literally have to keep quiet and they are awake but kind of asleep their suits are sleeping while well, while well, the animatronics is sleeping but the spirits are not because they slept all night after they chatted and let's say um od od sho shoji yeah shoji uh just listens around and juro as well listens and they hear like a small heartbeat but it doesn't sound normal. As they did hear like a scratch on the floor, just, just a giant scratch noise on the floor. As Deku and his sister are literally moving around, getting comfortable, because they have to be out of their suits, which is very uncomfortable for them. As they do point this out to Miss. Um. All my, as well as some other students taking a strong whiff of smell of raw flesh from a corner of the room where they are located. They find the animatronics and All Might does have to postpone the fight and everything. While people are looking around, All Might does call Principal Nessie who's telling them how, well no, it's basically nighttime, but people know now, well, the teachers and All Might know now that the animatronics are there. And let's say All Might left the recording of the students' fights on and see what's going to happen with the security cam in the corner of the room being hidden. As Deku and his sister look at these, at these footages of the students' fight as they record it and try to make it as their own. As Deku figures out quickly while his sister is having a bit more trouble. So Deku helps out his sister by moving her endoskeleton, well not, moving her body into a certain position where she could be able to fight better. Basically moving her arms left to right, technically, technically in that say, he move, he helps her 
to get into a position where she's most comfortable in, but also could help people with defending or attacking. And Principal Nessu does come into that area the next day and finds the two animatronics sleeping again. As he does take them and goes to a mechanic to try to find out what's the smell. As these, the, um, the mechanic is in the support course as well as all the other people. And he is like digging around until he pulls out something of Deku's animatronic. Which looks to be a human hair. Well not human hair. A human arm. If people have already guessed it, this is when they find the bodies of the students, the two children. As the Principal Nessu and all the other people are like kind of scared and they figured out this is the rotting smell. As he looks around more and takes out a human child, which looks burned really Badly scarred. His eye, well, one left of his eye, looks very terrified. While his other eye socket, which means Deku's other eye has been completely removed out of his eye socket. As they look at his throat and find a slit across his neck. As he takes the other animatronic and looks around and finds a very small hand in there as he digs around and takes out a human baby out which looks like her mouth was slit as well as a few stab wounds in the back which terrifies them and they realize this is the rotten smell and uh, let's say a police officer was there as well saying okay we're gonna look these two in the database and figure out what's happening and he looked them up and find the names of Izuku and Elizabeth Midoriya have gone missing and looked as these two children that were found in the animatronic and they do contact Mr. and Mrs. Midoriya Mr. Midoriya does not get arrested Mainly because he said another person was in there saving him and knocked him in the back, which was fireproof. They contact him and Miss Midoriya and ask them to come to UA, which they introduced the two dead bodies of their children, asking if they are their children. And Inko looks at the baby and the boy, and the thing is, they do have features that are still human, but other parts are literally burned or literally stabbed off from the murder and the fire and she said yes and she is terrified yeah guys this is gonna be a part five sorry